I just picked this um, unit up recently. It's uh, Akai 4000 DS Mark II. It's pretty dirty and it will need cleaning, but uh, I need to test it and clean it. I thought this video might be instructional for cleaning. First of all, when you buy um, a reel to reel that you don't know a lot about, a good thing to do is to plug it into a safety circuit and that's a, a light bulb in series and what that does is if there's any nasty shorts in the um, tape deck then it won't go bang basically that light will glow really really brightly if there's any shorts so you can switch it off without any nasty bangs or smoke so I'm going to switch it on now let's have a look at the light nope not flicker my lights are on you notice straight away that the the meters are dancing about quite a bit and that is because of um, this switch here there's a lot of problems with these switches um, but nothing that this won't cure service so you have to take this head cover off um, to get to the switch behind there that involves taking an allen key out there pulling this off just squirt it in with the applicator there uh, into the switch and operate the switch a few times and that will clear those that dancing around there also um, when you're stripping it down you might want to squirt some service oil in these switches and maybe the pots if they're crackling Another um, thing you can use is deoxit. Deoxit is better, but it's more expensive. I prefer the, um, well, this is good old English stuff anyway, so it's, it's good enough for me and it's, I've used it for ages anyway. Um, so 4000 DS, what is it? It's the same as the 4000 D, but this has got uh, spindles automatic uh, retainers there uh, they're not the rubber type um, that you push on they're retainers that are on springs so it's uh, a lot easier than the rubbers but uh, otherwise there's no difference between this and the DS except for the real retainers on the Mark II here we have the speed sleeve um, this transforms from 3.75 to 7.5 which is the best fidelity hi-fi quality on these decks and you would stow it here so how would I clean these heads basically what I recommend is just a normal Johnson's cotton bud and some isopropyl alcohol you want to do that every time every about tenth tape that you play because um, the oxide gets on the heads and it really does impair sound quality another thing if you really love your units you can do is get one of these this is a this is a TIAC head demagnetizer very good one but you can pick a head demagnetizer up for about uh, 15 pounds but these TIACs are quite expensive because they're vintage um, but the way you demagnetize is you have to switch the machine off plug it in and then switch the magnetizer on if it's some some of them have got on off switches or just plug it in a long way away from the machine and then you gradually rotate it and move it very 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 slowly to the machine to the heads and then if it's equipped with um, silicon rubber covering you can actually touch the heads touch them all and touch the tape path and then very 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 slowly come back very slowly if you do it too quick you can actually magnetize the heads again now demagnetizing heads i would say you need to do it every six months or so uh, depending on use really but i would say six months is a good thing and you'll notice that the frequency uh, response gets a lot better. So I can recommend uh, investing in one of these, especially if you want to be into tape. 
Now these um, 4000 series machines, uh, they're pretty good, very popular. Uh, the reason why I buy quite a lot of them is that they fit into a um, Sainsbury's banana box and uh, that's quite a strong box. Just put a, uh, some bubble wrap around them and they travel pretty well. They're very, very robust. I mean, <clears throat> and they're, they're relatively easy to service as well and they're very reliable compared to the Sony counterparts. But um, this is probably the more basic machine that I do. Uh, this one is the one of the top of the ranges of the 4000 series. You get the 4000 DB above this with Dolby. But quite frankly, I don't really think that you need Dolby on uh, tapes because um, at 7.5, um, there's virtually li very, very little hiss. And if I think you're worried about hiss too much, then... Perhaps tape isn't for you, but if you really want to um, get something that's uh, got no hiss at all, you want to get something like this Tascam uh, 44OB that runs at 15 IPS. You get virtually no hiss whatsoever on that. And also, I mean, if you want to go retro, this is something you might want. That's a ferrograph. That's 15 IPS. It does 7.5. This is a fantastic one with Dolby, but one of these fully serviced is going to set you back about £3,000. So, yeah, I mean, tape is, is definitely on the up. And, um, you know, it's really, um, really picking up in value, these tape players. You know, you, you could pick one of these up for 50 quid. A while ago but now they're commanding like uh, two three hundred pounds for a good condition service one um, I mean I do a lot of these things I've got a ferrograph FP, SP7 down there and I've got a lot more stuff but um, yeah it's good so um, just trying to think the pinch rollers um, yeah I mean this one is extremely dirty here it's good to clean them with um, Window lean is a good thing to clean this. It's not as um, sort of um, harsh as isopropyl alcohol. Window lean is a really good thing. Um, it's uh, It does clean it very well. Um, you've got a bearing here. You've got to take this cap off, clean it. So, I mean, that's just this is just basic maintenance that I'm talking about here. Sometimes uh, in these models, you do get some noise. On the input and output the crackling noises and hisses and crunches and all sorts of funny noises and that's because inside they use special um, early op amps and they're not very reliable really and um, yeah on these particular models they can be unreliable and you can't get the um, chips anymore so you've got to be careful about that uh, when you're purchasing one that's why obviously mine are fully tested I've got one or two of these um, uh, op amps left they're Sanyo op amps and uh, I had to buy them in Brazil last time I was over there because they're virtually impossible to get now so all the um, units that I sell have been properly serviced and checked over um, but yeah I mean one of these should give you years and years of uh, trouble free use and um, yeah, it'd be a real joy to use and I mean the sort of music that you get if you buy a job lot of old tapes the sort of music you get on these tapes is a complete surprise. Um, stuff that people have recorded over the years from the 60s, 70s, um, 80s, 90s. It's quite amazing the the range of um, sound quality, the different things that you actually find. I've discovered uh, Mary Hopkin again. Um, I, I did know of her stuff, but um, heard some good stuff from her. Heard some good, like, 60s... Um, music really good uh, stuff and some good prog rock all sorts of things so that's the joy of tapes really and uh, the sound quality as i've mentioned in one of my other videos is um is not as good as cd if you get a a really decent cd player like um, i've got one down here marantz um, cd 54 um you know you can't touch it with any sort of tape player and the cd 54 sounds brilliant because it's got uh 
14 bit DAX and that's the best DAX ever made. You know, there's a lot of people that think that the 1541 is a good DAC, but once you modify something with a 15 pair of 1540s in there, you can't beat the sound. I've I've sold I've modified these things. I've uh, done no non oversampling and uh, reclocking on these with my own design board, and um, people are just in awe of the sound quality, and they're replacing uh, CDs that go for like three thousand four thousand retail with my little humble um, Philips based CD chipset uh, CD players. So. Um, obviously, that sort of CD player is going to really um, be a lot better than, than tape in terms of sound quality. But where it won't be as good as is hands-on. So this is really good stuff. So anyway, I hope this has been interesting for you and you enjoy this video. Thanks.